welcome to Financial Fridays, and thank you for tuning in for today's Inspire Empowerment Podcast. Yes. <laughs> Hope that you guys are doing well, TGIF. I mean, except for those that have to work tomorrow, right? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Uh, but for most people, Friday is the uh, beginning of the weekend, it is the last day of the work week, and so we hope that you guys are safe and healthy out there, and we hope that you guys are enjoying. Um, maybe it's payday for some of y'all, maybe it's not, I don't know, but... Next Friday is payday. <laughs> oh. But, but wait, I... <laughs> For um, you, maybe. Wait, actually, it's, yeah, it is payday. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're going to be talking about Financial Friday, so please read the disclaimer that we have, and, uh, you know, just just uh, be be mindful, do your due diligence. Yeah. But I got some quick announcement, you know. Have you heard of uh, prepaid legal service? Are you in need of legal advice here and there as you go through life? Well, <laughs> I am an associate with Legal Shield, and for about... Twenty nine ninety nine a month, you could have access to um, calling in a lawyer, emailing a lawyer to have, ask legal question. Uh, the services with Legal Shield ranges from um, Legal Shield helping you with your will and having an attorney review it to creating forms, and also you could send them form legal documentation to review um, on a as much as you want. So let's say for example, yeah, let's say for mm-hmm. example, you have a legal. A legal question pop up, and you just have a question. You need to contact a lawyer. Legal Show can help you with that. Mm-hmm. You know? so what like if you I get said, like a, some sort of a legal letter in the mail? Can yeah. you just send it to them? And say, hey, yeah. what does this mean? Hey, what does this mean? And so it's good. It's convenient. So um, you know, about twenty nine ninety nine a month, um, you could have access to that. And mm-hmm. I am an associate with Legal Show. Check out my link on the bottom and sign up. Or you can just get, uh, give us a chat, and I'll explain more. Yeah, awesome, cool. awesome. Cool. It's always good to have that because I always. Okay, I shouldn't say always, but sometimes I got legal questions that I want to mm-hmm. ask, and that would you can't really helpful. Mm-hmm. Google it. <laughs> also, something that we want to announce, um, some announcements from the DMV. Uh, your license renewal, the written test, um, is finally waived, and all you got to do is do it online now. Um, so you are encouraged to renew it online. You don't have to come in into the... Um, to the DMV and do it. Um, yeah, the so, yeah, so click on the link <laughs> below. We'll put a link there so that you can make an appointment. Always, always make an appointment, but I guess I don't really need to say that. We all know about that, about mm-hmm. that at the DMV. But yes, um, this uh, year, because of the pandemic and the issues that we are facing, uh, if you do have to take a written test, they are waiving it. So renew it online if you can. If you don't, if you they want you to come in, Click on the link, make an appointment, come on in, and the t- uh, writing test, the written test, will be waived for you. So, hey, Va, did you want to say the Hmong quick for our Hmong uh, listeners? Okay, you don't eat your You can eat your to lot to yaw yaw to name more driver license that she know. And now you're to tell me we know need a driver license. No, you have to tell me you don't have to name more on a sapai that was singing in the night. You know, Okay, yeah, so if you are applying for the real ID, uh, you will still need to go in for that. But uh, the link that we have down below, you can also click it, go to the real ID section. You can upload all of your documents and have it pre packed and ready already so that when you get there, it just speeds everything up. So, uh, enough about the DMV, right, guys? Yes. <laughs> well, stay tuned, guys. To, towards the middle of the show, I will be doing nuggets, right? Oh, yeah. Today, nuggets, we are going to do an overview of Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Yeah. The uh, stock, the free stock trading app, okay? Hey, LT, can you, uh, can you, on that, can you put like a, put in there some sort of graphics with a chicken nugget being dunked? <laughs> and then you can delete this part. <laughs> Roger that. Let's go. <laughs> But uh, 
So our overview for Financial Friday, if you missed our first episode, you can always go and rewatch it. Please, uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, comment it down below. We do try to read all of the comments so that we can help uh, answer the questions that you may have. And if you didn't watch the last episode, our introductory victory video, you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can always stay up to date. But uh, what is financial literacy, right? I mean, that's a... That's a big question that everybody kind of mm -hmm. has. And I know that there are a lot of people out there um, talking about financial literacy and how they want to teach you and, 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 and all of that. Um, but, you know, uh, to me, financial literacy, to us here at Empire, Inspired Empowerment Group, uh, financial literacy is just the ability to understand, you know, what, what, what the various financial skills are that you will need for your life, including personal finance, management, budgeting, and, of course, investing, which is kind of a hot topic right now. But... Yeah, I mean, it's a whole encompassing uh, overview of what financial literacy is, financial knowledge, whatever you want to call it. But today, specifically, we're going to be talking about financial protection and give you some tips about that, right, Bob? So financial protection, like, what do you, when you hear that, what, what comes to your mind? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear that? Hmm. I think of, well, another word I think of is, like, security and also, um, limitations to be honest like okay. learning how to know when to say no okay so like it could be like how do you protect your money when it comes to spending yeah yeah mm -hmm. so how do you protect your money also have you thought about like um let's say let's say that like two and two you and i are married right <laughs> so like yeah. my like i'm gonna use myself mm -hmm. right so me and my wife right so we're a dual income couple yeah that means that my wife goes to work and i go to work and we bring in two income right mm -hmm. what if i get hit by a bus then uh, if you do survive, um, you'll have a lot of medical bills. But if you don't on the unfortunate act, then your, fa your household will not be a single income family. Yeah. And so, like, my, what, what's my wife? I mean, think about this. I, I'm thinking to my head, like, what is my wife going to do if I get hit by a bus, I don't survive, right? Mm -hmm. And I die. Right? Well, I'm going to say it just like it is. <clears throat> I'm not even going to uh, share it because the reality is that it, it happens. It happens. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, I, I think especially in the, uh, in the Hmong community, um, or mm -hmm. a lot of people just don't talk about people dying. You know? it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a scary thought, and yeah. you don't want to think about that, but the, the reality is it happens, and, and you need to be prepared, and you need to be ready for it. You need to position yourself, yeah. right? And, and, you know, one of the things that I want to bring to mind, too, is this. For many of us, well, at least the people that I know, uh, somebody is the breadwinner, right? Well, somebody, and what, and in modern society, both parents are usually working. But what I mean, what I mean by the breadwinner is, you know, let's take for example, let's just say a hypothetical situation. Va and his wife. Va makes a hundred thousand. His wife makes thirty thousand. Okay, if Va passes, that's a hundred thousand gone. She, oh, yeah. she's still working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she's only bringing in thirty. You guys are used to making 130. From 130 to 30, how do you live? How do you yeah, survive? Like, What's going to happen to the mortgage, the, the cars? Change, we, we don't make that much money, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hypothetical. But like, seriously, just a big income gap now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like... What's gonna happen to the lifestyle? Well, let's say that we have a mortgage and we both have two car notes, mm -hmm. right? And like we have a boat and some jet skis. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we live a lavish lifestyle. Kind of right? like uh, so kind of like Kaylin over yeah, here. Yeah, is right? it to like just ensure that if you know if there's a rainy day or in an accident, um, it's kind of to like make sure that your money is will be able to cover it or make 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 sure to like cover some of it at least or yeah it's, it's to cover so basically i'm talking about life insurance uh -huh. you know, when it comes to protecting uh your income it, it's either life insurance or you have a savings okay right? mm -hmm. so like the average american probably don't have like but how how diligent are we at yeah so saving? like let's say for example mm -hmm. if i make 100k a year mm -hmm. like i'm not sure if I, I i'm not even sure if i have 100k in a savings account you know well, I mean? most people, oh, if they okay. make fifty thousand a year, they so, spend so about how sixty thousand. How, how do I protect that? So let's say, that, oh, let's say if I have okay. a life insurance policy on me mm -hmm. for three hundred thousand, right? Well, that's gonna cover some of the bills. Mm -hmm. That'll right? cover about three years of your income. About three years of my income, or let's say that pay off some the house yeah, bills, the, the cars, house, and the so house, on. the house, the mortgage. We have about a hundred fifty thousand on a mortgage left, and then she could use that to pay off the mortgage. And now, oh, okay. um, she don't really have to worry about the monthly bills. It reduces that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So that's kind of what protection that we're kind of talking about. There are many ways to 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 hedge that. Uh, but life insurance is something that most people don't talk about mm -mm. Um, <laughs> until it's 
there already. You know, there's a, there's many times in my businesses I drive by and I always see people out there and they're doing taco drives or car washes for funeral donations. And, you know, when I do, I always stop. I always, you know, I, gi- I give them what I can, whatever's in my pocket and stuff. And I wish I could help them more, but... Well, yeah, I mean... Okay, have you have you see people on um, on social media do a GoFundMe for like yeah for yes like a camera all the time or a car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like your car yeah no car insurance we don't really think about that car insurance is a financial protection because mm-hmm. yeah. let's say you buy a brand new car right and you, you got to think about if, if you don't have gap insurance or like if you have an insurance policy that doesn't cover the whole car mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, most car, insurance policies yeah, don't your car depreciate <laughs> and you crash and total your car yeah right. Now you're kind of in a hole. Let's say that you bought, let's say you bought a car, right, for twenty five thousand dollars, right, and in one year, uh, you still owe like twenty two thousand, but your car is not worth twenty two thousand. It's, it's worth eighteen thousand. It's worth eighteen thousand, and you mm-hmm. crash, right, and you don't have gap insurance at all, and then you only have a fifteen thousand uh, uh, <clears throat> coverage, right, and so now, unless it is your fault, mm-hmm. right, and now you you gotta you got you you, you gotta fork out the rest. Pay, you gotta pay the difference, car, right? That's mm-hmm. a, I mean, I'm using a hypothetical, but hypothetical scenario. But I mean, yeah, car. I don't think cars are appreciate. Wait, it, it does, right? You appreciate that fast, right? I mean, but that's just hypothetical. Yeah. Speaking. Okay. So mm-hmm. now you got that big old gap, and then mm-hmm. you gotta pay in, in order to get in the car. You you kind of gotta pay some more money. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I see. You'll so be out of a car. You'll yeah. you'll be in debt to the to the be on to Facebook the loan. Go fund me account <laughs> to uh, cover my new car or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so there, there is a lot of protection. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna get into the details of it, but then there's like umbrella insurance and stuff like that too, as well, that will cover um, mostly business owners or or high net value people have that just in case something were to crazy were to happen. So is financial protection basically insurance? <laughs> that is one vehicle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, insurance is one vehicle. Another oh, vehicle okay. Is like savings. Or oh yeah, yeah. You just so said, we okay, could actually, it actually goes and... back to investment, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So like, so we should have. So technically, we're supposed to start from the beginning, like mm-hmm. what is income, what is income, yeah. what is financial literacy. Mm-hmm. But you know, me and two was going back and forth, and I try to justify my case to talk about it as a very, very first episode after the episode. Oh, episode, okay, right? I see. Because of, because of the current condition that we live in, yeah, mm-hmm. right. I, I feel that we should we talk about financial protection first and we'll go back to the basics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Cause, Cause just think about all those people uh, who have lost their lives this year. I mean, I can pretty much say with a certainty that not all of them has life protection, asset protection, mm-hmm. not all of them have policies in mind and 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 that's that's the thing. Like nobody thinks about it mm-hmm. until it happens to you, right? And um, so we just want to be put out this message to you guys that, you know what, think about it, uh, talk about it. If you don't talk about it with us, talk about it with somebody. Uh, We are licensed uh, through the state of California as as insurance agents as well. Uh, So we know what we're talking about and and we see it all the time. And so that's the reason why we want to push it out there and let everybody know that uh, life is precious and you want to enjoy life. But should something terrible like this happen, um, it's tough out there. And and. And it, it's just sad that, you know, even after the mourning is done and you've done the funeral and all of that, now the surviving partner mm-hmm. has to come home and deal with all the financial burdens. And, and yeah, you get a lot of support at the funeral and stuff, like emotional support, right? But how many of us ever get financial support after the fact, right? So, Not many of us. So where do you start then, you know, with learning how to save and ensure, you know, have this financial protection? Where do you start? I think you should start at assessing your current situation. Okay. So let's say I, for a single individual, mm-hmm. um, you look at what your look at what your assets are, and then look at what you want to protect. So, like, for example, um, and your income. Mm-hmm. So let's say, for example, a single, a twenty-one year old single individual, they may not at this point in their life they may not need a lot of protection, mm-hmm. uh, but. Um, because they're so young, they could think about the future of protecting them. You get it? Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Especially with life insurance. And you know, oh, I, see. I-, I do just want to throw it out there. I mean, probably, I'm sure that the listeners out there have probably been hounded by their friends, their family, their relatives about life insurance and stuff like that. Me. 
Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but 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 for reals, get 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 serious. Get sit down and talk to somebody who knows what they're doing and is not trying to just uh, make a commission yeah. off of you. And think about your oh, car, okay. like mm-hmm. so car insurance. You yeah. have that already, right? Mm-hmm. So like some people have cell phone insurance, right? Yeah. Their cell phone is like two thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? I have cell phone so insurance. So you have an investment mm-hmm. in something that if you want to insure, you could do that. Even like when you um, buy a, a new computer. They ask if you want a warranty yeah. or insurance, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So that's what that you could look at the things you want, and you could you could try to eliminate that. Okay, do I need this? Or I I don't mm-hmm. need this, right? You you could make your judgment, but ultimately, what what I was trying to say earlier is that if I'm 18 years old mm-hmm. right now, I'm not thinking. Well, if I, let's say if I'm 21 years old. Yeah, I just turned 21. So yeah, so if I turn 21 and like let's and say you're that, definitely not thinking about life let's insurance. Let's say right? you mm-hmm. you may not be thinking about life insurance, but. Buying, let's say for example, buying a hundred thousand dollar coverage for you right now, mm-hmm. it's is, cheap. It's, it's less very expensive affordable. than waiting for the next ten years yeah. when you get married and you and your husband, uh, or you and your significant other start thinking about financial protection for your income, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So you're setting yourself up ahead. And, oh, and, okay, yeah. I see. And, 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 and the reason why uh, I wanted to throw in this too, life insurance policies these days they have evolved. It's not just for you to use when you die anymore, mm-hmm. after you're dead, and, and for your benefit, beneficiaries. There, there's a lot of things that life insurance policies can do right now. We're not going to get into all the details. Uh, Va and I and, and the ladies here, we'll, we'll, we'll do a special uh, podcast on that. But uh, there's a lot more that it does than just waiting for you to die and then your beneficiaries getting the cash. Interesting. That makes sense because since I turned 21, my mom's like, hey, you need to look into life insurance. You need to find a plan for you. And I'm like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go. And I just keep pushing it off. But, um, well, you're in the right spot. Yeah, my mom's like, <laughs> my, my mom's like, do it. Do it right now. And I'm like, okay. And then even like, uh, like let's say you have a house, mm-hmm. right? So homeowner's insurance, that's, that's important. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of ways. So there's a lot of strategies. Like, there's so many. Like I said, it'll be a podcast on its own. We still can't cover it, right, Bob? Yeah, we, don't, we won't be able to uh, cover but, it all. But um, get with somebody who knows. Get with us. I mean, hey, we know what we're talking about. But get yeah, with yeah. us, and uh, we'll assess your... Like Bob said, the most important thing is to, to assess your situation, assess what your needs are, assess what your budget is, and then we can go from there. Yeah, if you if you guys... Um, may, Go ahead and comment below if you guys have any question about like insurance in general. Yeah. Right. Especially like if it's insurance, car insurance, house insurance, insuring your money, um, even insuring your stock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? But that's technically you're not insuring your stocks. You're just buying, <laughs> you're just buying put options uh, equivalent to delta of a dollar per dollar as the price drop, and that's how you insure your. Your uh, your stocks, but that, in a sense, it's not yeah, actual in insurance, yeah, it's but not, it's yeah. it acts in the same way. Yeah, You're hedging it in the same hedging. way. So like, that's like um, that's super like advanced stuff. In the future <laughs> of our nuggets, but <laughs> let's uh, we're gonna get prepared for our. Go ahead, give us before we go to our nuggets, and man, let's get some few last words on this topic, guys. Yeah. So um, what do you? So what goes going through your mind right now as we are talking about this, Caitlin? I'd say financial protection is, first of all, thinking ahead and making sure, ensuring that you will be able financially to be stable or to not struggle as hard when something happens, mm-hmm. um, whether that be saving or insurance mm-hmm. um, in, di- in those different ways. And it's good to start very, very young. And so then by then it's not what? As expensive As, as later expensive on. and stuff. So basically just ensuring that you you'll be set for the rest of your life or, yeah, and, yeah and there's there's like i said there's so many strategies out there mm-hmm. <laughs> there's you know we're not going to get into it but there's you know we'll we'll get into it in another podcast yeah. there's different strategies out there that that many have mm-hmm. debated about but um guess what time it is are you ready Va? yes it's time for our nuggets yeah right. nugget, uh, it's our nugget seg- segment right now and <laughs> i will be going over how to navigate robin hood brokers account so again um i <clears throat> i am not paid by robin hood to do this uh so and we, you we could would use like our, to be we could use our robin hood <laughs> link that's how that's how you know we're vested in this use our robin hood link so you get a free stock and to get a free stocks, right? But I'm gonna go over navigating Robinhood, okay? So this is the des- desktop version, right? And this is a, a portfolio that I'm managing, and this is a desktop version, but it's gonna look similar 
it's gonna look similar to your phone version, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go over just looking at a stop, right? So I'm gonna look at, I am going to look at AT&T. Again, I invested in AT&T. I have over 600 shares. This portfolio that I'm, I'm working on has 30 shares, okay? So if I click on AT&T or I could go on a search and look for ATT like that and click on it, the ticker symbol, all right, this is a ticker symbol on this side. If you hear what, what, what the ticker is, that's what they're trying to say is the acronym, is T. You can type that, if you know the acronym, you can just type T and that'll pop up. If you click on it, you can do the same thing on your phone, go to the search button in the middle, right? And it'll pop up. You can look at the history, the one day history, the one week history, one month history, three month history, that's quarterly, one year, and the past five years of AT&T, all right? So, Right now, I'm not going to go over the history or like the technical or fundamental of at and I'm just going to go over how to buy and how to sell it. So let's say that I want to, right now, at and is at $2.75. $28. I mean, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, um, <laughs> let, let me retract, let retract that. $28.75. Thanks to. Your, your mouse cursor was blocking the eight, so that's why you yeah. can't see it. So $28.75 <laughs> for one share. So if I just want to buy it like that, I keep it as buy, okay? And on your phone, they're on the top right, similar to the um, similar to the web or ver uh, desktop version, you can click on that little icon right here to the right, and you keep it at market order. It's, it's a market order. It's default a market order. Um, I suggest, I always leave my share at default. So if I want to do one share, if I want to buy one share right now, one share right now, my estimated cost is $28.75, right? And I just click on review, right? Buy, okay? All right, and done. On your phone, it's going to ask you to swipe up to be done. And that's it. I'm done. I'm, so I can review my orders, right? Okay? I can review. Uh, so I have one. And let's say that I want to sell, right? Same thing. If I want to sell... I go to at and click on trade, and go to sell, right? And I'm going to sell it at the current market value. I'm going to sell one share, all right? Review orders, right? Sell, swipe up to sell, right? And I'm done, okay? So, <clears throat> so again, just um, this is something that you could uh, really just look into doing because it is, um, it is uh, pretty simple, okay? So now that you understand how to buy and sell, I'm gonna go over what a, what a limit order is. So let's say I have a buy limit, right? Okay, so if I don't wanna buy at $28.75 and I look at here, and you know what, um, I could wait. I'm gonna wait this out and I'm gonna buy it at $28.60, right? So, if, so I could just change my order by the, remember the top right drop down menu, uh, menu. All right, I'm gonna set it to a limit order, right? Um, on your, it's gonna ask you for your price and I'm gonna do $28.60, right? And I'm gonna do one share and it's gonna say good or you could, you could either choose good for a day or good till cancel. If you do good till cancel, it expires in 90 days, right? And um, you could say that allow this order to execute during extended hours. Review, same what we did, and buy. I'm not going to buy this one right here because I think <clears throat> I, um, the previous one I did, it already, buy, it already gave me a buy and sell. So that's all you have to do. And it's, it's the same thing for selling limit. Let's say right now I don't want to... I don't want to sell it. I, let's say let's say that I am, I am expecting AT and T to go up to thirty dollars, right? And the next few days, and I'll wait. I'll wait it out. So I'm gonna sell, right? Change my limit to order. I'm gonna sell, and I'm gonna go thirty dollars, all right? And I'm gonna sell one share, right? Okay. I allow I, all, to me. I always allow it to happen after extending hour, uh, extended hour, because you never know. And then sell, and it'll execute. All right, boom, it's done, okay? So now that you've done that, all right, another way to look at what's going on with AT&T is click on your AT&T stock and come down here and look at all your queue orders, all your queue orders, okay? 
shows all your queue orders here, and you can actually go back and cancel them. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna cancel that, and I am going to cancel that. And I'm all done with my orders. So there you go, guys. Real easy for all you brand new, brand new people. Just learn how to buy and sell. Do buy and sell limit. That way you could um, take advantage of the swing. We call it the swing. That means that you could take advantage of when the stock goes down and don't really have to look at it. Or you can take advantage as the stock goes up and you, and you don't really have to look at it. So these, this is very, very basic. And um, at the next class, we'll go over um, a, a little bit more. We'll add on to uh, our nugget session. Thank you for watching. Yeah, so that was a lot of good info. <clears throat> So thank you, Va, for sharing that. And like Va said, this is very basic, but you know what? Uh, it's kind of scary if you don't know. And so that's the whole purpose of these uh, podcasts, so that you do know. And if you are more advanced or you already know this stuff, hey, you know what? Uh, shoot us a comment, chat with us. It and for uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, will, we will. Actually, don't comment if you're advanced. This is not for you anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, shoot your comments down there uh let us know and then uh that way we can kind of answer your questions like we always said i know I've, i know it's redundant but you know what you might have missed the first half of the video but uh this is it this is how we learn about financial literacy we're gonna go take it one step at a time we're gonna go very basic and then we're gonna get more advanced as we go along so all right and before we go we just want to let you guys know again about our airpod giveaway all you gotta do is um subscribe to our youtube channel Comment down below that you are subscribed. And on the 17th, we will announce it through YouTuber. All, All right, right. Don't forget to use our link, our WeBoo and Robinhood link, too. We have lots of link for this segment. And we will see you all next Friday. Bye.